Uh, the Dungeon Master tip of the episode is the organization Shadow Fang in Syndicate. So here's something new I'm, I'm tinkering with. The idea of a Dungeon Master tip giving you something functional for your world to use. So please let me know what you think. Braca Shadowfang, bugbear of some renown, founded the Syndicate nearly 30 years ago. Today, she still has an active hand in the Syndicate's affairs, but her age has pushed her son, Murin, to take command. The Syndicate dabbles in a variety of criminal enterprises, from gambling, protection, uh, uh, protection rackets, and much more. The Shadowfangs carved their niche in the underworld through a combination of brute force, cash and access to monstrous allies outside the city who are eager to do business with their contacts. Orc mercenaries seek in service for evil lords, cultists in search of safe secret lair or illegal reagents for their dark rituals, and wanted folk eager to turn the goods and coin looted from their victims into fine goods and services. After all, a few hundred coins stashed in a chest beneath an orc chief's cot are worthless unless he can do something with them. The Shadowfangs found willing allies on both sides of the supply chain. Their monstrous emissaries buy luxury goods and service, costly ales and other liquors, and deliver them to at ludicrous markups. The locals inside the city they deal with are too intimidated to ask for uh, ask uh, for high prices. While the savage, maybe low prices is probably what goes there. While the savage kobold goblins and orcs are generally too ignorant to question the exorbitant prices the shadow fangs exact. When not making merchant sales, running goods between factions, they delve into the seedy underbelly with a nefarious work. A favorite of Braca's is investigating in short-term loans to those in need, employing, employing criminals for assassinations to the highest bidder, and, of course, the more traditional banditry of traveling uh, competitors. Of course, the uh, Braca and Murin are skilled at covering their evidence of their side hustles. Sorry, that was a lot. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? I, I definitely like it. Yeah. I definitely appreciate you getting a fleshed out shadowy organization to build off of. Oh, yeah. Do I, do I do disagree with one part? The part about a few hundred coins stashed under an orc chief's cot having no purpose. They're shiny, okay? <laughs> They're good to look at. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, this is certainly... Uh, uh, I've been delving a lot into CD dives, and you guys will get to see that uh where mm. i'm going with that later uh upcoming but this was one of the side effects of that work and i hope that you guys uh like it this is pretty fleshed out so if you need a a, a cd you know thieving crew or whatever this is you can take this right out right off our website um yeah. anything you guys anything to add to that i do like the idea that they craft like uh metals and coin into more expensive pieces of artwork to increase your investments and sell them yeah, off for absolutely. high prices. Mm. And uh, when I was thinking of that, it was more or less they're hiding the evidence of what they stole. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> it's really a pretty good way to do this. that. Like if, you, <laughs> like, if you steal 50,000 silver coins, who's gonna look, who's gonna look for like 25,000 statues? <laughs> Right. <laughs> that was just one of those. What would I do if I had this and I couldn't just spend 50,000 of whatever, right? Mm. All right. That'll do it for our Dungeon Master kit, the organization, the Shadow Fang Syndicate. Yes, I totally stole the name Shadow Fang right from uh, the dungeon in World of Warcraft because I thought yeah. it was awesome as hell. <laughs>